never been here before my name is Celia if you have welcome back now as we start talking I have a ceiling fan going you might hear it in the background but it's 90 degrees today and so I need it we're here today to talk about ways that you can make your rental more luxurious I have a long time renter and have started to make changes to places I live in and honestly it makes me feel better and these are changes that you too can implement so let's not waste any time and get right to it so my first tip is wallpaper wallpaper can instantly add color pattern and texture to a space making it look just that more luxurious now here is the tip though we think as renters that we have to stick to peel and stick wallpaper but that is not true you can use traditional non-pasted wallpaper in renter friendly ways one trick that I learned is using liquid starch to adhere regular wallpaper to your walls. It goes on just like paint. Use a paint roller, put it up on the walls. You can shimmy the wallpaper around while the starch is still wet, but once it dries, that wallpaper is stuck to your wall, but also easily removable. We use this hack actually in a makeover in a rental space where we, again, just use the paint roller, use the liquid starch, wallpapers on the wall. Three, four years later, this wallpaper paper is still up and going strong why I'm telling you to use regular wallpaper and letting you know that this is something you can do is because regular wallpaper is usually depending on where you're shopping depending on the fanciness of the wallpaper but regular wallpaper is usually less expensive than the peeling stick because the company doesn't have to add the adhesive so there are tons and tons and tons of peel and stick options out there. I will list some below. We did a peel and stick option in our rental bathroom in our old apartment. Loved it. It, add, it added the perfect amount of color and texture. Um, but I just want to let you guys know you don't have to use peel and stick. As renters, we can do it all. So wallpaper, instantly upgrade your space. So tip number two are curtains, but in general, window coverings. Lots of rentals come with horizontal blinds and especially on patio or porch doors, they'll have those vertical blinds. Don't get me wrong, these are tried and true staples. They work well to do what they do, but they can look a little cheap. In our new place, we had vertical blinds and we immediately took those down and replaced them with curtains. Curtains go a long way to just make a space feel more finished. On your smaller windows that have the regular horizontal blinds, you can take them down altogether if there's a window that no one can see in. In our old New York apartment, no one could really see in our windows, so we just really didn't put anything up. So you can always do that. You can use uh, Roman shades, you can use bamboo blinds. Like There are tons of other ways to cover and dress your windows that don't involve just those kind of boring plastic, run of the mill, blinds whether they be horizontal or vertical so don't skip on your windows third tip going back to our walls white paint so many rentals come with that beige color on the wall or that buttery color it's boring it's builder grade get it out of there i've said it before and i'll say it again but paint is the easiest and most cost effective way to make a major change in your space those beige walls, those gray walls, if you just make them a beautiful white and bright white, the rest of the things that you put in the space will sing. Whether that is a brightly colored or patterned sofa or accent chair or rug or funky coffee table, whatever it is that you then put in the room, your beautiful fun bread bedspread will all just look that much more luxurious against those nice clean bright white walls. Personally, I love those spaces that feature clean white walls and then they've got a bright pop of red in an accent chair or a throw pillow. So don't be afraid to do some painting. I'm sure your landlord won't mind if you take those beige walls to a nice bright white. Next up, art. Guys, don't leave your nice white walls, now that you've painted your nice walls white, don't leave them bare. Whether you get printable art from Etsy, whether you get posters from museum gift shops, whether you get posters from your favorite music artist, 
um, your kids drawings whatever it is that you want to put on your walls just put something up there it doesn't all have to be um, really important pricey art it can be like I said printable art from Etsy minted society six there are tons of artists on Instagram and Facebook that you can buy their prints support a small business we have a whole video about how you can find art for your home already on the channel I'll be sure to link it here and down in the description but please 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 find some art and cover your walls target home goods there's tons of art I have a shop we sell art in my shop too there's no reason that your walls should go bare it's the easiest way to make it look like you are an interior designer just put something on those walls now this next one is going to involve you digging down in your tool bag just a little bit and maybe coming up with some creative storage but if there are fixtures in your home that you absolutely hate some of them you can change for us that was a sliding shower door oh my goodness now i completely understand why the owners of apartments do this but my god are they ugly <laughs> we could not stand that door especially with a small child leaning over to give him a bath it was just a big fat no so we went ahead took those down and we are storing the pieces in a closet in various closets around the apartment and we put up a shower curtain and it just made the bathroom feel that much more expensive oftentimes there are cheap finishes all around your apartment if we go back to those blinds blinds are a cheap solution the sliding doors are a cheap solution faucets light fixtures the knobs in the kitchen anything that you can take off hold on to replace with something else and then when you leave put it back go ahead and change it it's just a rental but these things will make you feel so much nicer while you are occupying the space there was also a cabinet in our bathroom that again was just a cheap solution to storage and i applaud the owner for wanting to give us storage but it was the worst so we took that down too these are things that when you leave you can put back up or you can hire someone to put them back up for you or you can just leave them in your apartment and ask your landlord hey how much is it to put this light fixture back up you've given them a security deposit what is a security deposit for? you know what i mean so change those fixtures next up is a new found favorite of mine and that is adding vintage pieces or vintage furniture when you look at images of beautifully designed spaces they are often very layered in the types of furniture that they feature and an easy way to achieve that yourself is by shopping vintage or second hand oftentimes when a room is full of all brand new everything it can look just like it's full of all brand new everything your space can end up looking like a, the home section at Target or home goods or Ikea you have to add in something that has a little bit of age and a little bit of life into it to into your space to keep it layered and varied there are easy ways you can do this there are um, Habitat for Humanity Restores, your local thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, like the local mom and pop antique thrift stores. Find something, a bowl, a plate, a chair, a lamp. This is also an excellent way to try your hand, maybe add a few DIYs. Find something cheap and cheerful that's vintage that you love. You want to put your own spin on it. This is a way where you can try your hand at something you've seen on the internet. See if you can make it work for yourself. Don't be afraid of thrift stores and secondhand. For us, we've gotten a pair of chairs that I am so excited to dig into. These chairs, I am going to invest a little bit of money in getting them reupholstered, but I know that even in my next home, I can take these chairs with me. So investing in them now is okay. So again, you don't have to spend a whole lot, but you can if you want to, but definitely find a way to incorporate some pieces in your space that have had a bit longer of a life. You need to add something old. The next one is a personal favorite of mine, and that is adding texture. And now texture just means everything in your home shouldn't be made out of the same <laughs> Some really popular fabrics that I'm seeing out right now that are easy ways to do this are leather pillows, a boucle pillow, um, linen pillows, linen throws, um, throws with wool with little puffs of um, pom poms. Like there are tons of fabrics out there that you can layer your space with. 
This can go again back to your curtains and your window treatments. They can be linen, they can be bamboo, you can use mud cloth. There are tons and tons and tons of fabric options out there. So just don't stick to one fabrication. Another way I like to add texture is in non-traditional art pieces. So for us, we have a vintage baby doll. I have a mask that I brought back from South Africa. These pieces add color and texture because they are made from different materials. I see a lot of time people put a, the, I, in a lot of, in YouTube and on social media, I see a lot of overuse of vessels. And I think that what people are trying to do to a space when they're using so many different bowls and vases and vases in different shapes and vases in different color is that they are trying to add texture. But instead of doing a bunch of vessels that really aren't holding anything and you have the same thing kind of repeated, again, just try to think outside the box. A doll. Um, some type of sculpture, um, a mask, textured candles, ceramics made by your local favorite ceramicist. Um, lean a piece of art that instead of a piece of paper art inside of the frame, it's got a piece of carpet or a textile inside of it. Um, there are tons and tons of other ways than what you traditionally see to add texture and layers to your space. This is again, where the thrift store can come in handy and you're feeling kind of like you want to do a DIY on a lazy Saturday. Just saying. Texture is a way to make your home look instantly more appealing. And last but not least, plants. And this doesn't have to mean that you have to have a space with 75 plants <laughs> sitting in the window. Maybe it's just a little plant in your kitchen, a little uh, rubber tree that you keep in the living room. Maybe it's a faux olive tree that you keep in the living room. There are tons of ways to add greenery and something alive to your space, or at least something that looks like it's alive. If you're gonna go the route of faux, spend just a little bit more money so that faux looks natural. There's this DIY going around where people are um, gluing faux leaves to a real branch that they found out in the world. Those are looking so good. They are a much more cost effective way to do faux and part of it is still alive. So that's a really cool DIY to try. Um, maybe you want to pick up weekly flowers from your grocery store or your grocery store run, but just add something that is alive to your space. It goes back to adding um, texture and color maybe you put those florals or you keep that plant in a vintage bowl or in a vintage pot or in a vintage pot that you then DIY but there are tons and tons of ways to add these things together into your space so that you end up with a space that looks a lot more luxurious and a lot more expensive than what it really is so those are some of my quick and easy tips. Although you might think that one about taking the shower doors down isn't that easy, but I promise you seeing that I've done it and there's a video, it is. So let me know down in the comments if there's any other things that you suggest because I'm still a renter and maybe there's something I haven't thought of. Maybe there's something you think is a completely terrible idea. Also let us know that down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Bye.